About five minutes after Kyler Murray won the Heisman Trophy Saturday night, USA Today ran a hit piece highlighting supposed anti-gay tweets Murray had published when he was 14, and the left-wing lynch mob started marching. And you know, it's not because they hate what he said, it's because they hate success. Hey guys, I'm Brittany Hughes, and welcome back to Reality Check on MRC-TV. On Saturday night, Oklahoma University quarterback Kyler Murray was awarded the Heisman Trophy, the most prestigious award in all of college football. Less than a few hours later, though, USA Today's Scott Gleason published a story about him. Not about his accomplishments on the field, of course, but about old, supposedly homophobic tweets from back when Murray was 14, where apparently he used the word queer. Oh dear lord. Surprised? Why? The progressive pitchfork brigade just did the same thing to Kevin Hart, drudging up old tweets from back in his early comedy days and ultimately forcing him out of hosting this year's Academy Awards. And he's one of their own. They just did it to Baltimore Ravens fullback and defensive tackle Patrick Ricard, unearthing years old tweets from back when he was 16, where he made some questionable jokes. You know, kind of like a 16 year old does. They did it to Buffalo Bills quarterback Josh Allen, digging up his old tweets right before the NFL draft. They blasted Villanova's Dante DiVincenzo with old tweets from his teen years right after he'd helped the Wildcats win a national title and was named the most outstanding player of the Final Four. Now, if you're a perpetual victim, you're fine, but God forbid you accomplish anything in this life, because if you do, regardless of whether you're an entitled, privileged white guy or a young black man who's busted your tail to get where you're at, Social justice warriors will devour you the first chance they get. Why? It's not because they're offended, and at least not by what you said. It's because they're offended by accomplishment. They hate it. They're petty, small, jealous people who cannot stand it when someone achieves something through hard work and dedication. It's why they have to slap the label of privilege on anyone who's self-made, and why they cannot stand anyone who makes a good living. It's why they have to bring down everyone to poverty, all to make sure that we're all equal and steal other people's wealth and give it to those who didn't earn it. It's why everything has to be free so that hard work and success will ultimately come to mean nothing. And it's why less than five minutes after this young man had accomplished something that fewer than a hundred people in the country ever have, they dig through his seven-year-old tweets to find something he wrote when he was a child so they can label it offensive because they cannot stand the greatness that lies in dedication and perseverance. So then what can we do in the face of such a mob? Well, here's a thought. Stop apologizing to it. Just stop. I don't care if your opinion was from yesterday and was perfectly valid and inoffensive or if they caught you saying the dumbest thing in the world when you were 13 years old. It doesn't matter. Stop bowing down to this left-wing lynch mob that isn't the least tiny bit offended by what you said, but is simply offended by the fact that you've done something with your life and can stand on your own two feet without some government crutch propping you up. They will never stop until we are all groveling in the same dirt, begging for handouts and flogging ourselves for any good or successful thing we've ever done. So unless you're prepared to live that life, stop apologizing and instead, Spend that time and energy becoming so great, so self-reliant, and so successful that their petty outrage cannot touch you. And that's your Reality Check America. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube videos, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay awesome.